Okay, in this tutorial, in this WordPress tutorial, we're going to be making a blog page from scratch. This is the type of blog page we're going to make step by step. To get started, we do need a few things set up like WordPress 5.9 and a theme that has full site editing. If you go under appearance and you have editor, that means you have a theme that has full site editing. If you have the old customizer there, then you need to get a different theme. Uh, under um, in the video description, I show you how to do this theme. It's called Ona. Uh, I give a step by step on installing this theme, and um, it's got a ton of templates, a ton of different options. So that'll be in the video description if you're interested in using this theme in particular. But to do this tutorial, we're going to make a blank page and then we're going to use the templates from the theme to put that template into the blank page. So the first thing we'll do is pages, add new, and we'll give it a title. And then pay attention to the templates over here. The default template on this theme inserts the featured image and the title into the page. So I don't want to use that. I do want to use header and footer only. So that will get rid of the title and the featured image. A blank page doesn't have header and footer, so I don't want that. So I'll choose this template, publish. All right, so I got my blank page. Now I need to go to the full site editor, appearance editor, and I need to go to that template. So let's go to templates. Go down to the index. There's the index. Okay, this is the template that displays the previews of your posts. So we'll click that. And we already have sort of a, um, a starting point with the one that they created, but this isn't the one that I'm going to use. So go to list view. You'll see we have the anatomy of the page. This group contains the whole template, so I'm going to remove that. And then below the header, I'm going to insert a block after it. And I'm gonna start with a group. And I'm just going to designate the width of this group because that'll contain my uh, columns. And that's the number that this theme uses. So I'll go ahead and save that. Now within this group, I'm going to start with a spacer for a little bit of room up top. And everything I do is going to go inside this group. So let's go ahead and insert something after a header. Heading, and we'll call it posts. And we could center that. All right, now below this is where we insert the thing that previews our post. And that block is called insert after search for the query loop. And that's the block that inserts all of your posts. So we have some options to choose from. I'm going to choose from this grid view. This image at left one. Okay, so the anatomy of the query loop block has this post template block, and within that, that's what controls how each post looks. So in this case, we have under the post template the column block, and in one column we have a featured image, and in the other column we have the title and excerpt. So I'm going to remove the excerpt since it's a little bit wordy. And above the title, insert before, start typing categories, hit the plus, and we want the post categories, and that'll display whatever the categories it has. And then below it, insert after. We're typing date, this post date. All right. So we also want a background color for each post. So under the post template for all of the columns, 
choose color, background color. All right. And that gives each one and it matches the header. Okay. Also note under the query loop, under the block itself, up here at the top, we have a little uh, items per page. Let's say I had two featured images that I wanted to feature, or two featured posts. So I'm going to insert two posts into this loop. And the two that I designate will be designated by, uh, under the settings on the right, we have filters, tags. And I could give the tag featured to two posts. And so I go into each post and give them this tag and then that will filter and display only those two that I want to feature. And now below this query loop, I'm going to add another block, insert after. Hit the plus, start typing query loop. And then below it, we're gonna have all the rest of our posts. So we have, um, I'm just going to choose this standard. And instead of the list view up at the settings at the top, we can choose grid view. And that'll list our posts like that. And then again, I'm going to do like 10 posts per page because I want to list the rest of them. And then after the 10, we'll add the pagination to that. And then also for the query loop uh, on the settings on the right, I probably want two columns instead of three. Just like the way it looks a little better. And then I'm gonna get rid of the excerpt. So this one has a little bit more underneath each post. So get rid of that. Maybe move the date up. Maybe add a separator above and below the, um, or a little spacer. It's 50. And I'll duplicate that. Move it up. Maybe make this one 20. All right, so it's coming along. Also note that this featured image, if you upload featured images that are different sizes or diff different aspect ratios, that these aren't gonna line up perfectly. So if you want them to line up perfectly every time you go to featured image, height, you know, 250 pixels or maybe 300. And that will, and then you use this cover option here and that will require that the images line up and then i'll probably put the title below uh the featured image so move that down okay so you'll notice now we have the query loop and then we have the post template and then this is how each post is going to look uh we designated it for 10 uh of the most recent posts and then below the post template we're going to insert after and this time we're going to put in the pagination so hit the plus start typing pagination okay insert a before we do a spacer okay that and so the bottom of the page has a little bit of room to breathe before you get to the footer. So maybe center it. There's center option. Under pagination, here we go. Okay. So now when we save it, we notice that it's asking me, do I want to save the template, the index template? So now once we save it, we need to insert this index template into that blank page. So I'm gonna save it. And then I'm going to go to the dashboard, go to settings, reading. And here's where you designate the home page and the index page. So, so let's 
select the post page that I made under post page, save it at the bottom. And now when we look at our pages, here's the post page and it says, okay, you designated it. So I'm going to insert that index in there. So when you view it, you get the thing that we designed and there's no pagination because there's not enough posts, but it inserts those featured images. Um, if you don't add featured images to your posts, they're not going to show up. So make sure you do that. But going back to the um, going back to the dashboard and the pages, this is the thing that all pages. If you were to actually look at it and edit it, you might be confused because it's just it's blank. But that's because we use the index template with the full site editor. So that's why you know this is going to be blank is because it's just inserting the thing, the index. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, this theme does the home page the same way. If you were to do the home page, you would add new and then create a blank page called home. And then you would edit it in the editor. You'd get the right template. And then you would go to settings reading and set that home page that you that blank home page here but yeah uh, if you found this at all helpful a like is always appreciated and check the description for more resources